In this movie, we're going to talk about the label alignment function. Before I get started, let me do a few preparation steps. I'm going to freeze the layer that has the contours to make it easier to see. I'd like to point out that I've used the water mains function to draft in a water line that we're going to put on the left hand side of the driveway. And while we're labeling, we're also going to calculate a few points on the right hand side of the driveway uh, where we'll place some sewage structures. So first of all, let's just get into doing the basic alignment. Now before you get into labeling, it's important to note that your current text style will have control over the labels, but if you want to take advantage of some automatic text sizing functions, then the best thing to do is to go into IntelliCAD Explorer, look at your text styles, and just set standard as your current text style. Now, I'll launch the label alignment command. Notice down in the command line you have lots of options. We're just going to explore a few of them. First of all, I'm going to tell it to label stations along the alignment, so I'll type S. And it asks me which alignment to work with. Uh, driveway is the only one in this drawing, otherwise you'd have a pull down and you'd select the right one. I'm going to designate zero as the beginning of the station, that's at this end here. And here I don't want to use the default label settings, but I'm just going to use a tab through here and I'm going to tell it to label 50 units for each of the different sections. And I am going to tell it to store stations into the coordinates database for each of the labeled alignments. You'll notice that I've got include interval points, so that means all the important transition points will also have a station label. Okay, I pick on OK and then it automatically builds the labels, adds them to the drawing, and also adds database points. Now I'm still in the label alignment function, so let's explore some of the other options. For example, the existing points option, which I can bring up by typing E, which corresponds to the capital E you see in that option. What this is going to allow me to do is select any database points that are already on the drawing, and it will label them with a station and offset. So I would like to label each of the waterline points with a station and offset. So once I've windowed them in, I hit enter. Ask me which alignment to work from. I'm not going to tell it to create a point at the alignment. And there you see it's automatically added a label for each of these three water valves. Okay, another option that I can work with is new point. So this allows me to generate points relative to the stationing and offset. So I hit enter for that one and here's, you can see that there's lots of options but I'll just play with this one. So I've got on my list that I want to create uh, three sewer structures. Uh, the first one right at the beginning of the alignment and they're all going to be at negative 20, so that'll put them on the right-hand side of the road. I do not want it to create a corresponding point on the center line. And so for here, I'll tell it to start with point 600, give it the description sewer. Okay, so it's created that first point, and now I'm going to go in and configure it for the next one, and I believe it's at 125. Again, just turn off the option to create an extra point. And for this one, I want to create point 602 and give it the description sewer. I'll say OK to that. So that creates the new point. And last one is going to be at the beginning of the driveway, which happens to be at 318 chainage also negative 20. I want to make this one 604. Sewer, do not create a point. And then I'll cancel. So you can see that we've created these three new points and they too are labeled with their alignment. Some of them they need to be a little bit, uh, the labels need to be tidied up. Now I've, I've just hit escape to get out of the alignment 
labeling command and uh, I've turned on point blocks with this particular drawing so you'll see that when I pick on it I can right click and go to smart points and I'm going to move the point label so that it doesn't overlap there we go and that's all part of the same block and when I'm all finished I can go back into the freeze thaw dialog and I just thaw my contours and we're back to where we started thanks for your interest in the label alignment command